Hi, it's Adrian from the Advanced Denture Centre. One of the common questions we get asked is what are the differences with partial dentures? Uh, partial dentures, of course, are dentures that are only replacing anywhere between one up to several missing teeth. The most important thing with partial dentures though is how many teeth are being replaced. And naturally, if there's fewer teeth in the mouth, that are on the partial denture, we will see more instability because of course there's less teeth holding on to the missing teeth. There are really three types of partial dentures that we see. One is what we call an acrylic denture. An acrylic denture is primarily acrylic all the way through the teeth and there's a lot of pink plastic. And there's usually wires that are used in order to hold the denture actually in. It's not that precise and it's usually sometimes made even as a temporary device. For example, if the tooth is coming out and we need something to replace that tooth, but we know that when the tooth comes out, there's gonna be some changes after the tooth is removed, we usually look at an acrylic denture as a long-term temporary denture. The second denture is what most people would consider a long-term denture. And this means that it's there for anywhere between three to five years and it's called a chrome denture. The body of the denture is made out of chrome cobalt. It's a casted framework, and this gives strength but decreases the weight. So therefore, the size is smaller, and it's a stronger frame, and then we build the teeth around this. I suppose the downside of these partial dentures, though, is always going to be these arms because they, we need these arms or these retention devices to hook around the other teeth in order to retain the denture. And in some instances, we can sometimes see these arms and therefore they become a bit unsightly when people actually smile. The last option is what we call the Valplast denture or the flexible denture and this has been out for many years and the idea with these dentures is because it's flexible and it kind of moulds slightly to the mouth and to the existing teeth is it's very very comfortable however it can only really be used in situations where there's not that many teeth missing so usually between two to four teeth actually missing. The most important thing when it comes to which is the best partial denture is of course the experience of the dentist or the prosthesis who's really gonna look in your mouth and decide what would be the best and most comfortable denture for you but give you the best longevity. So if you're thinking of getting a partial denture done, give us a ring. You can ring the Advanced Denture Centre or visit our practice in West Perth. I hope to see you soon.